Sup lads, it's Aaron here with another sweet video for you. This is Watch Mojo's top 10 video games of all time. Um, and uh, yeah, this is official, so um, if uh, if you disagree, then you're wrong because this is like the real, the real deal. This is the real list uh, that everybody knows. This is, this is the official. You're wrong because this is legit list. Um, and so yeah, uh, so let's kick off Watch Mojo's top ten uh, video games of all time. Uh, number ten is going to have to be Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, this game uh, is basically a cross between uh, Roblox and Final Fantasy. Uh, it's got it's really spooky, scary. And um, has a really deep, like, like storyline. Uh, you're 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 Chuck E. Cheese, and um, and you you have to battle off teddy bears. It's really really spooky, scary, and um, so I I recommend you check it out because it's like one of the best games of all time. But anyways, speaking of Roblox, um. Speaking of Roblox, number nine is Roblox, and um, yeah, this game is um, kind of like a cross between Five Nights at Freddy's and Final Fantasy. Um, basically, you um, you you're a guy called Roblox Man, and you have to go around building Legos. Um, it's a really really good game, a really deep storyline. It's it's um, it's quite tragic, really. Um, and uh, so it's quite an adult game. Uh, I only recommend 18 plus uh, people play this game because it's a really deep game, um, and it's got some like really deep subject matter. So you know, I, I don't recommend younger kids play this game. It's a really deep game. Uh, so, anyways, number eight is going to have to be Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare because it's the best game of all time. It's the best game of all time, but it's it's so low on this list. Because it's not the best game of all time. Number seven goes to Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels is an amazing game. Um, I don't think I don't think anyone could disagree. It's an amazing game. Um, I know it's quite. Um, it's actually quite um, like uh, obscure. Uh, not lots of people know about about um, Happy Wheels. Um, you know, not many people really do videos on Happy Wheels, but it's a brilliant game. Um, kind of like a cross between uh, Happy Wheels and Final Fantasy. Uh, it's like an action RPG about um, Happy Man and his wheels. Um, you get really attached to the characters, I feel. Um, and the journey they go through is just amazing. And I won't spoil the, spoil the ending for Happy Wheels because it's quite a um, tragic ending. And I don't I don't want to spoil it. For anyone who d hasn't uh, hasn't played it yet, but you should play it because it's an amazing game. But anyways, number six is going to have to go to Uncharted 4. Um, I know Uncharted 4 hasn't come out yet, but the thing is, I know it's going to be awesome. It's going to be one of the best games of all time because it's from developer. Um, it's from developer. Bungie and Bungie makes some great games. You know they made some great games in the past, like um, uh, Corey in the House for for uh, for the Nintendo DS and um, Raven Rabbids around the world for the Nintendo DS. Uh, Bungie are a really great developer, really well known, and I know Uncharted 4 will be amazing from them. A great um, a great Nintendo 64 to Goat Simulator because this game is absolutely amazing. I mean, uh, it's kind of like a cross between um, it's kind of like a cross between Uncharted 4 and Final Fantasy. Uh, you're a guy called uh, Goat Man, and uh, basically you're a man fused with a goat, and um, you're quite amazing. It's, it's quite uh, an experience uh, to behold. Um, you know the the amazing physics in the game the physics engine in that game is 
absolutely uh, remarkable. Um, I don't think anyone's really come close to the to the great physics engine uh, in that game. Um, and you know, it's just amazing, uh, great experience, uh, and it's awesome. So you should you should you know play it. Um, so, anyways, uh, number number four, I believe we're on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's number four. Uh, is going to have to go to. Let's think here. I'm going to have to say Knack. Knack is a remarkable game. Uh, it's kind of like a cross between uh, Goat Simulator and Final Fantasy, um, because uh, it's it's um, like this very story based um, strategy RPG game and um, it's very um, it's, it's just very uh, new and you know very open world it's a very open world game um, you know everybody everybody knows the game you know it's very famous everyone bought it it was a brilliant Xbox exclusive uh, back in 2002 um, you, you do a lot of stuff, you can find loads of quests to do. Mac is just one of those games, probably the best game of all time, but the reason it's so low on my list is because it isn't the greatest game of all time, because uh, there's more numbers. So, number three, and number three is going to have to go to uh, what I feel is the greatest game of all time. Um, you ready for it? Uh, Sonic 06, what an amazing game, the storyline is immense, uh, you really get in invested in the characters and it makes sense, you know, I mean, Sonic kissing a human girl, that makes all the senses, I mean, come on now, uh, I think it's a very swell game, uh, it has some great, um, some great uh, RPG elements definitely it's like a cross between it's like a it's like a cross between Sonic 06 and um, and uh, and Final Fantasy um, maybe a bit of um, a bit of Street Fighter in there uh, and definitely some Pokemon elements in there so um, yeah this game is just amazing amazing storyline amazing graphics amazing everything I mean, come on now. It's brilliant. Um, so anyways, number two is going to have to be Minecraft. Minecraft is, a cro is it's like a cross between Sonic 06 and Final Fantasy. Um, you're a guy called Notch. Um, and you have to uh, develop this game. Um, it's, quite, it's quite cool, Minecraft. Um, you know, it's, a, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, you, you fight... You fight some some evil monsters on the way, um, and it's just it's quite an awesome game, I think. Um, and it's it's got some great elements in it, like I said, RPG and them. Uh, it's definitely got it's definitely got a hint of Mario 64 in there. A great successor to Mario 64, actually, I would say, um, as it was developed by the creators of Mario. Uh, Sega, um, who created uh, Mario 64 and um, all those FIFA games. So yeah, Minecraft, brilliant game. Um, yeah, uh, and number one. What could possibly be number one? I mean, there, there's so many options, you know. But, you know, uh, it's going to have to be... Rogue Legacy. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you you guys were like, oh, what's going to be the number one game? And then I was like, oh, it's Rogue Legacy, the game that's been in front of your face the entire time. Oh, Jesus. How amazing. Wow. What a great twist. Uh, so, yeah. That, that was WatchMojo.com's top ten video games of all time. This is the official list. If you disagree, then you're wrong because this is like the official list. Everybody knows that. So, yep, this this has been WatchMojo.com's uh, top ten video games of then. Don't comment.
because you're automatically wrong. So, um, thanks for watching, lads. Goodbye.